Hello everybody, welcome back to Sarah Plays Gorok in Immortal Empires. And just as I promised in the last one, we're picking up here with this battle with Corone fighting against uh, Nagarond. So I personally am not convinced that this is going to play out the way the autoresolve says. I could very much be wrong, but I want to see how Bretonia does. So I'm... I might reload this save because I would lose my garrison, um, but I want to fight it and just see what happens. Just because I think it's fun to watch the AI play against each other. I don't know why. I just, I like watching it. Which reminds me, I actually think... Jason had sent me a replay of some battles that he wanted me to watch. So I'll have to I'll have to grab those sometimes sometime. I think it was a while back that he did these battles. I don't even remember what the context is. I don't remember who he's playing, but I just remember he had some battles he wanted me to commentate on. Which when I watch Jason play a hard battle, I'm like, oh yeah, naturally, that makes sense. Of course he would do it that way. And uh three minutes. Well, we'll see. Uh, and then when I try to play, it's like, this is not going the way I wanted to. So. Yeah, I seriously, like, there's no way. There's no way they can fight this. They can win this. They should just have Pegasus Knights, but they're beat up. Alright, she's got trebuchets. Blessed field trebuchets. And she's firing at the Bloodrack Shrine. Which, I don't know if that's the best use of her trebuchet. How does the AI play cavalry? This is a lesson in Bretonia cavalry. just hit herself? Or no? I feel like... Ooh. Oh. Ow. Yeah, see, this chick, Bianca versus Murdradessa. They're going in melee with each other. One's on a dragon and one's on a pegasus. Oh, the pegasus knights are going after Murdradessa. When you're reinforcing, yo, we got a minute left. You got to hold out for a minute. It's not looking good. She's spamming spells. She's not taking much damage, guys. Bianca's got a 15% ward save, though. Ooh, ouch. Did those Pegasus Knights die? Did all of those Pegasus Knights die? They they did. I don't even know if your reinforcements are gonna make it, Bianca. Like I said, I don't I wasn't convinced that they can win this. Maybe the second army can win it, but I I don't think that they can win it. Murderdessa is murder murder murdering them. <laughs> I thought I had a clever way to say that. I did not have a clever way to say that. Um I'm coming in in 30 seconds. But reinforcements have arrived. Uh, I don't think it's going to be enough to turn the tide. Because Esther is only a level 15. Which is not going to last well against Murdradessa. And Bianca's like, I'm out of here guys, see ya. Uh, these peasants. I gotta, gotta love it. You guys are... Your leadership isn't low, but you're still, you're still getting in there. Uh... You're going to get chomped here soon. Alright, so let's see how you guys fare against Murdradessa. Yeah, her Charybdis are not even injured, really. They're sort of injured, but not that much. So what do you got? You guys got some trebuchets? You do, but like, they're in the trees. It's not going to do much. Oh look, I'm here. Maybe I can come in from the flank. Get these Doomfire war- or these shades. Oh 
Actually, I'm gonna set up here. Skink cohorts are gonna get hit by the Doomfire or the Dread Knights. Oh, I thought they were Doomfire Warlocks. They are not. I think we're gonna have to reload the save on this one because, like I said, I don't see us coming out on top. Get them! Get them! Get them, skinks! We'll do our part with this one unit. You guys have fun over there. Oh, did Bianca die? Bianca died. See, Merjordessa is not even... Oh, she's got regeneration too, so... That's, that's good times. It's not looking great for Bretonia. Don't worry, guys. I got these ones, though. Actually, I should have you guys come over here. Nope, nope. Not all of you. But go this way, please. Please don't go. Please don't go right through. Come on. Come on, guys. Use your brains. Get them from the behind. Uh-oh. They're going to start coming for me. Where's the shades? There were shades oh, over there. Oh, look at these poor horses. Oh, their owners have died. Run away, horses. Be free and be safe, please. Find greener pastures. Oh, this unit's like, we'll come help you with this one unit that you're fighting right here. Oh, are you cleaning up over here? Is that why? I'm going to have these guys come over here. These skinks. My melee guys are, are handling this just fine. Dinos versus dinos. See, I like to think that the skinks know how to handle cold ones because they're all dinosaurs, so... Is Merjordessa dying yet? She's... Who's been attacking her? Oh, the Grail Knights. Oh, she's gonna come after my skinks. These shades are gonna rip me apart. What? What are we turning around for? What are you guys even doing? You're not even doing anything. Listen, I don't really need your help, guys. I really don't. I'll have them come after these shades. Actually, I probably should have them finish the deal. Fine. Oh, now they're coming after me! My poor skinks are gonna die so fast! Go after the blood rack shrine, except they're in the trees, which is the worst of the positions to be in. Yeah, we don't win this. I put way too much faith in Bretonia. Ow! Uh. Ouch. You, you guys need to get in the trees too. Your troops have uncovered hidden foes. Yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. I keep stopping the foot squires from retreating because they're just enveloped. Oh, 
Yeah, we're not pulling this one out. Not when Merger Dess is. Oh no! My skinks are running away because they're getting chased by the gold one dread knights. Cravens. Cravens. Get him. I don't know what universe they said that we were going to win this fight. Come on, Soros. Ouch. Get her. Get her. Soros, you can do it. You are Soros. Kill Murdredessa. You know what, though? I'll probably just let it go. I don't need to reload the save. This is fine. I'll just come back and take the settlement from her. I'm not going to give up. We'll kill Murdredessa. Come on. Come on, warriors. Is all of Bretonia gone? Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Yeah, we're almost gone. We have 545 left. We can do this. Fight against those naked ladies. Well, we couldn't hold out against Murdredessa. She was too powerful. But I think my my one army should be pretty close. I can just bring it back and fight against her. Fight against her when she's super weak. <laughs> eh, valiant defeat. And this just goes to show that the auto resolve is usually wrong. But her army is pretty much gone. Except for this one War Hydra. And these shades. So, I'll just have to see if I can come back with uh, my better army. Wow, she took some casualties. So did I, but they were probably just looking at the numbers and they were like, oh, this army's really beat up and just numbers wise, they'll be fine. But like, level 50 Murdredessa is a lot. Oh no, it's Murdredessa again. Oh, that's right. I don't. This is different. Okay, never mind. I'm in the wrong area. This is where Mazda Mundi died. Ah, yes. Now it's coming back to me. Because Murdredessa was the one who killed Mazda Mundi, I believe. If I. Am I correct in that? I was thinking this was over where my other army is. Not Hextalk. Draiga. Wow, 500. Lewin's like, you piece of trash. You didn't stop the dark elves. And I'll be like, listen, buddy. Your armies stink. And that's why you lost. So... Settlement looted. Oh, that's because it was Murdredessa. I just like saying her name. It's just fun. Alright, so we got this guy over here. Fortress of Eyes. I don't really want to build Mazamudi over here, but what am I going to do with these heroes? I'll figure something out, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so who would be best? Probably Krokgar. That's what I thought. See, sometimes it does make more sense to auto-resolve. Sometimes. Oh, you hit level 50, Krokgar! Good job, buddy! 
Valiant defeat? Are you kidding me? Well, we'll just bring in a buddy. Close victory. They are really giving this garrison like a lot of... Although it is walled. Ha, <laughs> Colex gone. Now we have his vassal. Um I think this guy's his vassal. But I can't get there. Alright, so all these guys I'm pretty sure have moved. Rexalon is gonna stay there for the rest of existence. Gorok. See, I would fight Gorth the Cruel, but I feel like he's only level 19 because he's just been sitting. Um, yeah, Jarna Grunt has quite the garrison. I would like to go take the Veil of Woe, but I'm not in a great position to do that, unfortunately. But I do have this guy at Hoakonkwa. Hey! What if you came this direction instead? He's like, but I was going that way. It's all right. You'll be fine. All right, Hextock, you need to camp. You are in a place to camp. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Gorok. Get into the land. All right, so I, I have this guy. I'll have him just sit at the burning monolith. So this goes to the frozen sea, which actually would probably be a good idea because the frozen sea is... Is that over here? No, that's the Sea of Malice. Where's the frozen sea? You know what? I may just have to go in there and find out. Oh, wait, the frozen sea. All right, wait, wait, wait. This is the frozen sea. The river ruin. Is that... Where's the river ruin? Is that down here? No, that's the Black Sea or something. Oh, 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 is that, uh, is that where, where I gotta, I gotta, over here. I bet this is the river ruin. I can't tell, but I feel like that's what this is. Cause there is a sea lane here. The frozen sea. Yes. I don't want to go there. Okay. Prakeshto. All right, so you took a little bit of a, a beating. You lost your Ripper Dactyls and your Stegodons. I could get you some ancient Stegodons. They're kind of fun. Let's do that. Just gonna bring everybody over, except not you. Axiatl has to attack this guy. Fester Gax. Fester Gax. I like he always jumps around. He looks so happy when he does it. I feel like Axiatl is like the type of legendary lord that gets called cute and then gets really mad about it. Which I can't blame him. But he is really cute. Okay, so what's the best course of action here? We got our buddy Tyrion up here. Taking some attrition there, Tyrion. Level 50 Tyrion. Can I see his stats? Holy bonkers! He's jacked! The dude is jacked. Alright, I think everybody's moved. That's important, at least. 
And I should be building an army with Mazdu, Mundi. But I don't have a good spot really to put it. Oh, this is the worst. I could just, honestly, could just put somebody at Conquata. He's got three turns. And... Yeah, I could just put somebody... Oh, Eris. I feel like I remember Eris. I like you. Eris, you're gonna go here. Um, just... Globally recruit. Let's see. It's gonna take years. Who knows if we even have this much time left. New. No. I put a quaddle in there just for fun. So we're looking at seven turns right now and one of these guys. And then I could put this hero in this army. The one that's been just up here. Skank Oracle. How would you like to come over here? Crocgar, level 50. What are you going to put your last point into, my boy? Uh... I don't know. He's basically got... I'll just do Mentor. <laughs> it's kind of a lame last one, but that's fine. Okay. Some of these places, I'm like, seriously, you haven't finished building up yet? Like, the hell pit? Well, I guess, yeah, the hell pit took a while, but actually, I should go tier 5 here, and then I can get rid of growth. Finally. Because that's another thing that would be fun before I finish the campaign is just making sure all of my buildings are as high up as they can possibly go. Some of these. Still cannot believe I haven't put in garrisons yet. But, I mean, it's kind of at this point, like, who's... What am I doing here? Who's even, uh... Gonna attack me? Let's be, let's be real. Who's gonna attack me? There's nobody left. I wonder if anybody has ever tried to have, like, one army for each settlement. I feel like that would be impossible. I, I feel like that's, that's not possible, but it would be interesting to try. I mean, people have tried more. Not more, but, like, other things that seem impossible. Like, the one guy that planted the Skaven stuff in every single place so that he... Um, blew them all up at the same time. That, that's impressive, I do have to say. Good grief. Okay. 
Okay, we'll call it good there. Well, actually I can do that. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, Carl! Fancy seeing you here. No. Although, of all the people, I feel like I should ally with Carl, because he's only here today because of me. You're welcome. So, there's 34 factions left. This charge headlong, casualty replenishment. Ooh, yuck. No. Conserve and defend. Uh, what? What? How did you give me the gift of Slanesh? Get this foul magic out of here. Look, look. This garrison is stacked. Even with two of them? Pyrrhic victory. No, I was gonna say, there's no way. So, oh, thank goodness. Get that nonsense out of here. I think Rill's the one that did it. Stinker. Should I give it to Oxyadol? Oxyadol had it last time. Actually, Oxyadol could go after Baron Air. And then Tic Tac Toe could go after the Shard Bastion. Still haven't seen Sigvald. Don't know where he's at. But it doesn't matter at this point because he's going to be gone soon. Tyrion, why are you just sitting here taking attrition? Are you dumb? Oh, man. Oh, man. I really want to... Okay. Hold up. I, I, I want to watch Tyrion fight this. So... I'm going to end with these guys fighting. Whoa, Grom Brindle's here. How in the world is Grom Brindle here? Who calls me? Is this some black magic that he's able to come back somehow? Like, As you say, what? You I'm so confused. I don't know how that happened. Somebody will have to tell me how Grom Brindle's back. I swear he has not been here this whole time. They, there's no way. And they're not coming after Gorok. I don't want to fight Syra and Gorth. That's too much. Because that's even a lot. Like, I don't know. Because Gorth is probably going to come up and get me. So I'm going to siege, but... I really need a Hoakonkwa to come down here. To take the Veil of Woe if I pull Gorth up. We'll see. Zambalbe. It's already moved. Oh, I forgot. These guys are actually relatively close. Oh, well, eh. Not super close, but... Maybe within a few... Um, turns. And then I have one of these armies go rogue and just start attacking. 
uh, the dwarves and stuff. That would be really interesting. And then Gorok would have to, like, repair the tensions. Who hasn't moved yet? Oh, you haven't moved. That's probably fine, because you're not in a good spot to move. Tahedowin! Are you level 50? 48? Okay, almost. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of your own stuff there. Hextock has not moved, but that's fine. I don't want him to move. Alright, so we'll do buildings. Don't let me forget. I cannot forget. Cannot forget. Cannot forget. I'm gonna forget. I always do. I'm gonna come down here to the bottom. Whee! I'll do this just for funsies. Ah, here. This one needs to be fixed. I wish I could have an army of just Dreadsaurians, because that would be really cool. Which I could, because I think I could have 23 of them, but I would have to do some rearranging to my armies. Oh, I bet Tyrion wants this place. Hehe, <laughs> too bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, this place definitely needs some help. Oh, the challenge stone. Yeah, that makes sense. That's fair. Oh, and I'm out of money, so. Okay, so. Where I'm gonna leave this one off is just another stupid battle, because why not? So we're going to have Tyrion and Ratul fight against this garrison. And I just want to see Tyrion, like, clean house. So I hope that because I'm attacking them, they're just going to uh, hang tight until the, the reinforcements arrive. And then I want to watch Tyrion just go hog wild. So, oh, and it's a settlement battle. So I wonder if I can stay back far enough to not get shot. We'll figure it out. I'm not sure, but that's going to be what is in store for the next one. So hope you guys enjoyed this and hope you'll come back and see me in the next one.